Hey, it's Mike from Real Black. Wow. Um, I don't know. I'm growing this out. I don't know if you guys like it. Please let me know if it's come, if it'll be a good thing or a bad thing to have this. But um, in my one of my storage units, and um, wasn't planning on doing a video, but this, you know, just looking for something else. I came across something that's very relevant to today. Uh, December 10th is the anniversary of Richard Pryor's transition and um, you know so we just recently put up his biography I mean he's one of my heroes uh, did a book report on him years ago and um, you know as I get to this age I realize that you know there's not a whole lot of things on my bucket list you know the big things are on the bucket list but I you know through the course of my existence I've been very lucky to have a job or just be in a place of interest that would allow me to uh, be in situations to meet lots of people. So, um, you know, so I was just looking through, this is some of the stuff that I've got pulled, but. So, uh, had a chance, met him twice, I think, when I was in Los Angeles. And right when this book came out, um, I was shocked to see in the newspaper this ad in the LA Weekly um, meet Richard Pryor and I said well wow, that's, that's pretty interesting because I knew he was sick didn't expect it so when I got there and also around the same time that was happening this is I ran into Chris Rock at this event this was one of the best things they ever did um, in pre I think there's some video of it somewhere but they did a two-night retrospective at the American Cinematheque about Richard Pryor and they showed a lot of his early footage Jennifer was there a lot of people from Saturday Night Live Lorraine Newman actually you know so everything everything they showed has become available except for two things um, and you know, so I was blessed. Uh, they had uh, that nigger, that crazy nigger, live in Houston, 1978, which was a, a video that was filmed by a local church group and never released. So it it um, pretty much is the same show that came out as Wanted, but it's a, a video, and they showed that and live and smoking, and, and then the other Richard Pryor was there, obviously, and um, for the first night, and then. Well, I guess he was there both nights. I'm looking at this thing. A Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So he was supposedly... I don't. I was only there two of the nights. So I was there. And the other thing that was great was they showed um, his reel from Ed Sullivan. It was one of the best experiences I've ever had because uh, you literally see in little five or ten minute increments every single one of Richard Pryor's appearances on Ed Sullivan. You know, from his earliest, where he's like, "Hey, you know, I don't know what I am. I'm, I'm mixed Italian. I'm black, and I'm Italian, and I'm Jewish, and whatever." And, and when they say, "Go get him," they all come running after me, to in black and white, skinny Richard Pryor, to basically six or seven years later, when he is basically the the that nigger's crazy Richard Pryor, 1974, one of the last episodes of Ed Sullivan, and it's in full color, and he's got his beard, and he's just got his mustache, everything together. It was one of the most transformative things that you could experience to see his evolution in that way. So, anyway, long story short, um, that whole period of time, he's doing the signing. So I, I find the book. I'm at American Film Institute, and um, what they did. You get in line, it's a huge line. I'm like, how is this going to happen? And um, they asked, people were taking pictures with him and stuff. I didn't really, wasn't in the pictures at that point. Um, and, you know, you have to imagine a frail Richard Pryor behind a row and um, a few people next to him, I think. Well, Jennifer obviously was there. And when you got there, they took your book and they said, well, Richard's not signing we have a stamp made with his signature, and then you can speak to him, shake his hand, whatever, and uh, and he'll initial. 
the stamp, but he doesn't have enough strength to literally inscribe things and personalize and all that. So I was like, well, that's fine. So I told him I loved him and, and he shook my hand and I cherish this piece of, hopefully you can see that. So this, that's another prized possession um, from the archive and I'm just trying to find some more things that I can actually post um, that won't get us into trouble um, with the copyright folks. So, um, so far, you know, I got, you know, tapes from the first two days of the World Trade Center. I think it's like eight hours of tape. <laughs> so I don't know if this will ever make the light of day, but, um, and other people have posted this, but this is like my, my stuff. And then, you know, maybe there'll be some other things. So to stay tuned, but those are stories from the vault. I suppose you say this is, and I'm Mike, and be well, peace and blessings, and we'll see you soon. And vote on the beard. Do you like it? Is it going to look good when it grows out, or should I just let it all go?